Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. This video is going to be in two parts. A big shout out to the person that suggested this, and a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. We appreciate each and everything so much. I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. How was your Ramadan? I assume by now it's um done. Or oh, am I mistaken? Feel free to correct me. But how was it? So today I'm actually going to be reacting to how did your change time 2021 shocking? Um there's something I wanted to ask but I've forgotten. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. We have been reminding you of a very important prophecy of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, which should be of concern to every Christian, every Hindu, every Buddhist, every Jew, in addition to all the followers of the Prophet Every human being should be very concerned about this prophecy, which was made more than 1400 years ago by a man living in the desert of Arabia. He said that a time will come when time will move faster and yet faster, that a whole year will pass and it would appear to have been just like a month, and a whole month will pass like a week, and a whole week will pass like a day, and a whole day would pass like the amount of time it takes to kindle a fire. This ominous prophecy indicates to us something very, very strange, that it is not time that is going to be moving faster, not at all. Time in this world is connected with the moon, with the stages of growth and stages of decline of the moon. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirms that in the Quran. And he says in the Quran that he gave us the moon لِتَعْلَمُوا عَدَدَ السِّنِينَ وَالْحِسَابِ لِتَعْلَمُوا عَدَدَ السِّنِينَ وَالْحِسَابِ That you'll be able to count the years and you'll be able to measure in the system of time. And there has been no change in the moon, not at all. For thousands of years, the moon is still the same way. A whole month would pass either in 29 days or in 30 days. That has not changed. The full moon still comes on time. So it's not time which is moving faster at all. Rather, it is our perception of time moving faster. And why is this perception in the heart that time is moving faster? You can ask the Darul Ulum if you want. You can ask the scholars of Islam, ask the Shuyukh, ask the Maulanat, and in particular ask those who declared that Imran Hussein is misguided and this and don't listen to Imran Hussein and they shut the doors of the masjid on me. Ask them as well, why is there a perception of time moving faster? Ask those who belong to the sectarian movements and are obstinately attached to their sectarian movement. They say we are brevi. And Imran says, I am not Brelvi. They say they are Deobandi. And Imran says, I am not Deobandi. 
I am not a part of any of your sectarian movements. My identity is I am a Muslim. And that was the identity of my teacher, Mulana Fadlur Rahman Ansari Rahimahullah. And that was the identity of his teacher, Dr. Iqbal. And when Imam al Mahdi comes, alayhi salam, the Imam will say, I am Muslim. That's all. So ask them, go and ask them all, what is the explanation of this perception from the heart that time is moving faster and faster? Here is my answer. And when I offer a view of my own, I always insist that you should not accept my view unless you are convinced that I am correct. Because I don't want to leave behind me gramophone records. People who simply repeat uncritically anything they hear from me. May Allah protect me from such kind of students. I want those who will critically assess using their intellect, using their capacity to think, to assess what I give, what I teach my views and only when they are convinced that I am correct only then they should accept it because that's the way my teacher trained me the Darul Loom does not train their students that way at all so here is my view my view is that the heart perceives time moving faster and faster because the heart is no longer beating in harmony with the system of time that Allah has ordained. I call that a sacred system of time. And in that system of time, the month is counted, the years are counted by the moon. In that system of time, a month is either 29 days or 30 days. Let me repeat one more time what I did in the last video. That Nabi Muhammad was having significant difficulties with his wives. Even he. So he did, he did something extraordinary. He announced to his wives, I'm going to part from all of you for one month. That is very st strange and significant. And he secluded himself from all his wives for one month. They could not come to him. They could not meet him. When the 29th day had ended, he came out of his khalwa, of his seclusion. And he went to Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. When she saw him, she said, why have you come? The month has not yet ended. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Aisha is still young. <laughs> Why have you come? The month has not yet ended. He said, Aisha. Radiallahu ta'ala anha. The month sometimes has 29 days and sometimes 30 days. These were the words of our Prophet. And so... A Muslim, so long as he is faithful to the system of time, which has come from Allah and which our Prophet والسلام, has just explained, a Muslim will never depart from a system of time in which a month is either 29 days or 30 days. Now then, do I need to proceed further? Do I need to remind you what you have done, the whole world of Islam? And there is not a single Darul Loom anywhere in the world which is raising the standard of resisting this abandonment of the system of time which has come from Allah. And yet they close the doors of the masjid on me shamelessly. It's time for me to speak out. And if my language is harsh now, it's because I have tried and tried and tried and tried and I have failed 
They will not listen to me. So they will have to stand now and prepare themselves for the strong language which is coming from me. I'm just one man, just one voice. But if it is the voice of truth, it will shatter by Allah's leave all those who seek to rival the truth. But this is the truth. That the whole world, not just the world of Islam, the whole world has abandoned the system of time which has come from Allah. And the whole world has embraced the system of time which has come from modern Western civilization. From Dajjal's modern Western civilization, in which we are now told a month can have 28 days. Amazing. And a man can have 29 or 30 days, and a man can eat. <laughs> I'm glad that now he's mentioned the 28 days because my, my first question was actually going to be, um, I thought we have a month or month with 28 days. What about that? Otherwise, I love where this video is going. It seems like man thinks they know what we want. We, we humans think we know what we want and what we need in life. We've created a different calendar. We've created our own time. It makes sense. This video is making sense because all these things that are happening now are according to man from the Western world to us. And it was, I guess, for those countries that were colonized, it was through colonialism that they um, came to know about these new calendars, new, these how to determine time and all those things. But otherwise, um, I think above all, God is the only one that knows what's, be what's best for us, what, what's best for me, what's best for you, and what's best for the entire world. So if God created 29 and 30 days for a month, why should we consider 28? What's the meaning behind that? Because nothing nothing is ever um good why should they eliminate one day for what we should always seek to study and go deep into something to understand it otherwise um let's get to the second part of this feel free to let me know what you guys think so far and i'll be more than glad to read your response